Good evening, I'm Phil Bergman in tonight for Jennifer Griswold. What happens if you fall behind on your property taxes? Well, even if you owe only a small amount of money, you could eventually lose your home to companies that pay off the taxes and it is all perfectly legal. 3 News Now investigator Jeff Van Sant shows us one local woman who is facing that harsh reality. These are pictures of when um, we built the house. Um, this is the lot. Jerry and her husband, Mark, built their dream home. That's my... <laughs> my husband <laughs> grading the dirt after the house was put on. That was his pride. Was he getting the yard and everything looking nice after the house was done? Moving in with two kids, they decided for two more. Their forever home was complete. All of our memories are here. <laughs> Sorry. Now the family is facing eviction. I just can't imagine losing our home. Half a net move somewhere else at my age my not that i'm old but with my two youngest that have never known any other home than what we're in the trouble began in 2014 jerry's husband dies she's left raising four kids alone concerned about bills she pays off her home mortgage with her husband's life insurance we wouldn't have that worry of me having to make still make mortgage payments. But raising four kids isn't cheap. Money is tight. She doesn't pay her property taxes. It gets worse. She misses paying again in 2015 and 16. The Carroll County Treasurer sends her several warnings about payment. She owes over $1,700. Because I didn't have that lump sum. I mean, single mom, I was working at the country store here in town at the time. And because of pride, I guess, I don't get help from the state. It's just, not that I couldn't use it, trust me. <laughs> um, but I just don't. In 2016, her taxes are sold off in a tax deed sale, held once a year in every county. A tax deed sale is when a property is sold off due to delinquent taxes. The money owed plus interest is auctioned off. County records show Jerry lost 99% of her home. According to the Carroll County Treasurer, it's a tough situation, saying, quote, This is not a pleasant part of my job, but the state has laws to assure that taxes are paid or there would be no incentive to pay. Uh, I did receive a paper from the county treasurer advising me that the taxes were sold off to this company um, and that anything further from that to pay off these taxes, I needed to correspond with them. The buyer is a company called U.S. Assets. It's also known as Adair Assets Management and Heartland Investors. Based in Omaha, the company invests in property tax debts owed to a county. After the company gets the tax deed, Jerry had a two-year window to pay back the debt plus interest, or what the company has paid. Jerry is told, if you can't pay, you face foreclosure. She missed the two-year deadline. I can still hear her exact words. I was begging <laughs> to please not take her home. I was begging her. <laughs> and what she said to me was, this is our offer to you, Miss Olson. We will give you $5,000 for the 1% of your home and you will have 30 days to move out. In a last ditch effort, Jerry manages to get $15,000 from family offering it to U.S. assets, nearly double what the company invested. Three News Now investigators broke down how much the company has invested. Beginning at $1,769 with taxes and court and treasury fees, it's spent around $7,648. Jerry's offer is rejected. This email dumbfounded her. They asked for upwards of $123,000.
I sat down on my bed and I asked her how she could do this, how they could do this to somebody. And she said to me, you should have paid your property taxes. According to her lawyer, Eric New, Jerry's case is rare and that she is out of options, saying U.S. assets and the county did everything by the book. If you're looking at the system, it can be very harsh. I have no problem with people who invest in, in, in this sort of thing, receiving a, a fair rate of return. You can argue with whether 2% a month is that. But at the end of the day, it would seem that there should be, the laws should be altered or amended so that when it does go to tax sale, they don't end up owning 99% of your house. U.S. assets refuse to comment about this ongoing case. Jerry faces eviction as early as July 13th. Every moment spent in this house, building our home, raising our kids, it was almost like somebody would explain when they're about to die and their life flashes before their eyes. That's what it was like for me. Jeff Van Sant, 3 News Now. And Jerry told us she's still looking for a new place to live. Two of her kids that live with her now plan to move in with their older sister. Jerry says that's the best option they have right now. For more on the story and all of our other investigative team stories, go to our website. That is 3newsnow.com. And if you have a story idea, email it to investigate at 3newsnow.com.